I, I'm, this is fr from a big fan all the way from Switzerland, so I'm not sure if the name is Jean or Jean, but uh, he says I'm tw 20, or he or she says I'm 28 years old and kind of became religious over the last two years, which deeply surprises everyone who knows me. I grew up in an atheist environment and always felt certain myself drawn, and always felt myself drawn to religion, but always misinterpreted the feeling until recently. I follow Dr. Uh, Jordan Peterson, and hence the reason for me being kind of religious. I'm deeply convinced about all the virtues and truth of Christianity, but I can't bring myself to really believe in it. I don't believe in heaven, salvation, and all that. It puts me in an awkward position as I feel like I'm just wearing the face of religion without taking the burden of living it. I can't bring myself to go to church, for example. Is it hypocritical of me to claim to be religious? Thank you for the correct answer. I expect at least a 27% increase in the quality of my life. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. I think we can guarantee you that. Um, so that, that sounds like a, a, a man to me. Um, I, I, let me make clear before I start that I'm not at all talking for Jordan Peterson. I'm not speaking for Jordan Peterson at all, but it is my understanding uh, that Jordan is a Jungian. And now I have to talk about my understanding of Jung because it's, he's a very, very complex uh, thinker and also a very bad writer, and I think he's writing in w w German or something like that, so he's even worse. Um, but basically, is my understanding of my understanding of Jung is that he believes that the spiritual world is a kind of connection between human perception and the wholeness of life. So, it, as he said himself, we cannot tell whether the subconscious is God or God is the subconscious. We can't tell. We cannot tell where we end and God begins. So an example would be, for instance, this glass. Scientists will tell you it's mostly empty space. The thing that we see is not there. It, for, for complex reasons, it reacts as if it were a solid object. But as far as we're concerned in real life, that glass is there and we can pick it up and we can drink out of it, right? And so Jung was essentially saying that God was the same way. We don't know if he's really there. We, we just know that we feel him, we see him, we experience him, and therefore we can react as if he were there. And that's why, and that's why I believe uh, Jordan is always saying, I act as if there were a God, because, because he's, done, he's saying uh, essentially we don't know uh, whether this is a real thing or not, but it, it, we know we have to see it that way in the same way we have to see the glass there. I don't actually believe that that is a full and complete philosophy of life. I, I actually believe that at some point you have to decide because otherwise you're talking about a metaphor for your own experience. Now, I think that there's truth to this. I think there's truth to that view of life, that we only have the human experience of life. But I think that part of believing in God, part of having faith in God is having faith in the human experience, that it is an essential experience. The world was built for life to exist. It was built for a mind to understand it. So the experience that that mind has in understanding it is, in some sense, a very, very real experience, not a metaphor for something else. And that means to me that God exists. The, the logic of God's existence seems so complete. I'm not going to go into my arguments now. You can read my memoir, The Great Good Thing, which has a lot of it in it. Uh, it seems to me to be very real. So to get to your question, I, I don't believe that acting as if God exists is a full and complete philosophy of life. It seems to me that that is saying, I am going to live by the conclusions of a syllogism without accepting the premises. And that doesn't make any sense to me. If every all the conclusions <clears throat> that you live by show you that God exists, then it seems to me the reasonable thing to have faith in your, in your logic and believe in God. Now, faith is not a leap into the unknown. Faith is a belief in, the, in your logic being true but you can't prove it's true because you can't experience the spiritual world in physical terms, right? Proofs are usually about physical, uh, physical experiences. So, so if you believe in all the uh, trappings of religion, all the uh, uh, conclusions of religion, it seems to me the thing of integrity to do is, is to try and have faith, to experience faith, to give yourself over to faith. And the way you give yourself over to faith is by living your faith and communicating with God and being in a relationship with God. Now, listen, you can do anything you want. You can live any way you want. You can live a moral life without God. You can live a life that makes no sense. You can live, you know, any, any kind of, that makes no philosophical sense. But if you, if, as you say, you are deeply convinced about the virtues and truth of Christianity, then the reason that you can't believe, I would argue, is because of a narrative. 
is because we are surrounded by this narrative that, that these things don't happen. And I agree with that narrative. These things don't happen. That's why we're so impressed when they do. So, so what I would say to you is at least commit to the logic of your, if you can, at least commit to the logic of your uh, conclusions and then see where that takes you. I, I think just st sitting in your room and saying, oh, yes, I believe, it's not a full life, you know, it's not a full life. You should live out the meaning of your creed. You really should live out the meaning of your creed. I, I say that to you only as a helpful hint that you will have a happier life if you live out the meaning of your creed. I mean, somewhere it was written that if you can say, oh, I behave as I would behave, whether someone is watching or not, you are then a happy man. I believe that. I think that is absolutely true. So, so I think like, you know, you should, you should say, if you are deeply convinced about all the virtues and truth of Christianity, you should, I, let me put it this way. I would then commit myself to faith. I did commit myself to faith. I have found that in that commitment, it has proven itself again and again and has become more and more real to me. And more of it has become real to me. Uh, it, they say that seeing is believing, but in this case, I think believing is seeing. I hope that's a full explanation. I got a little complicated because I did want to talk about that Jordan Peterson thing. I don't think most people understand what he's saying.